Welcome once again you're watching the Ben Live Boba Wakatoka very new onto this channel. Please please uh, don't forget to subscribe and also to hit the notification bell and be part of the family that every time something is happening on this channel you're the very first person to watch it. I welcome you. You can welcome any other person. You can share onto your Facebook. You can share onto your WhatsApp. Uh, copy the link and then paste it on your status on whatsapp whatever that you possible to do please do it we shall be very grateful and very delighted so and also another thing as you're watching do not forget the comment section is there for you you can be in position to tell us um i would want to talk about this i would want to comment about this i, I would love to ask you about this and uh, our experts will be there to make sure that all your questions are being answered and your submissions are attended to well, today it's also another opportunity that we have uh, to host once again Pastor Ndianabo K. Patrick and from his home. Yeah, it's sweet, sweet home, sweet home. Yeah, so and we want to get the best of his experiences about the different topics uh, to people that have ever watched him speak. He's an amazing speaker and he's the one of the overseers of the full gospel churches of Uganda and is uh, a pastor and also a counselor, a professor professional counselor and also is a teacher yeah talking over a teacher to get get your pens ready and notebook and not down some things but before i go into our topic let me just uh, welcome him at Buzeko, and then eventually we shall dig into our topic oh dear our viewers thank you so much gift well, dear our viewers you. we are glad to be here with you today and I want to greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to glorify God for who you are and wherever you are watching from. I am glad to be part of the show and I trust God to guide us and use us for the glory of his name. Mm. So we are looking forward to having fun with you but also learn together. Wow. God bless you. Amazing. Uh, Pastor mentions that we going to have fun with you people and learn together. This is a journey that we're going to walk together. Pastor told us earlier that he's a winner and if you're part of a winning team, you're able to be a winner. So being that you're watching us, that means you're part of us and how we pray that you also take up the winning spirit and be a winner in whatever you do. And well, today we have a question. Why is it uh, why would it be an issue to have men get involved into their girls' lives? To Labante, growing up, um, there are designated roles for fathers. Yeah. <laughs> Okufumba te chirimu, kuchusa pampa te chirimu, okuba ambaza biebi okusula mu, checking on to them in the night te chirimu, you know, feeding them te chirimu. Era umwana ye ya mula mshi mobibiri. Enyuante umwane, umwana tuala bante njale muloma. So well, we're asking, why should they get involved and at what stage? Would it be from childhood? Would it be into their late 20s, early 20s in university? Obanga. They are into marriage. bride price. <laughs> when are they supposed to get involved into a bride price? But we want to get to know which stage. So Tatalyo Atulaba, if you've missed out on any stage, you can be able to start from that very point, not and kilao to be into the life of your girl child or even your children in particular. <clears throat> we want to see that girls are grown up well such that they become responsible mothers and they can be able to raise better sons for other uh, other women's daughters, yeah? So if you don't raise your girl properly, she might not be in position to raise another uh, a son, yeah, for someone else as a husband, yeah, or as a father. So, chetugendo kubanga togeda ko oluwa lero. Ngenda kutandi kane musomba ndia nabo. Nga muboza, is he a father? Yeah. And does he have children? Aina muaba wala? <laughs> wow. I am so glad to be again part of this show, as I said earlier. And gift. To mm -hmm. answer your question, I am a married man. I am a father, by God's grace. I have both boys and girls. I also am privileged to be a grandfather for now. So indeed, if that was the question, 
It's Let nice the listener and the hearer be at peace. You are talking with or listening to a father okay. like you. Thank you so much. Just a quick one. Are you a proud father? Here one. <laughs> proud father. Very glad to be a father. I wonder whether it's an overstatement or an understatement. Mm. I don't have a better word to say, but mm. I still I am a happy father. I am a content, content. father. Okay. Yes. Well, in society, we have fathers that are not content, sure. and they do not even want to mention of their children. They do not want to associate with any of their children in public here yeah, because they don't want to be named fathers. Mm. And you know, we've seen most of them after impregnating someone, they run away because they don't want to associate with being fathers. Oh. So if first time they never say he's a proud father, you can also be a proud one. But what does it take to be a proud father here? Yeah? Together, Dr. Andy Kanga Togamba, there is a journey for every little child growing up, and we expect our parents to be there full time, yeah, full time, hey, not this properly, full time to be in every single aspect, yeah. If you've ever watched news the last week, Bali Bagamba, Abana Tiwagenda Baki is again the Ambisulo. Nibagamba Abana will never have a day. Some parents never cross. Ah, some children are from Masaka, and then they study from King's College. Mm. Some children are from Kampala. They study from Beranyanji in mm. Bara. Mm. So, and they were like, "That is the big issue. That means more galaba na tuvateke masomera gatwe tolo de." But then others were like, "Ha, okwela no moana Monday to Monday." <laughs> Every time they go to school in the morning, you have to see them in the evening, like you're staying with them. Right, all the time. Ngagwe Omuzade, what do you think about that? Do you think it's a good opportunity for parents to be around their children? Over. <laughs> yes, it's very intricate. I do not want to go left or right. I don't want to go yes or no. <laughs> I only want to, in that particular news bite, I think... Uh, there is always need to involve the stakeholders before the decisions are made. We have people that we call opinion leaders, mm. and those ones who lead in these opinions, it's very, very important to involve people who are uh, stakeholders in mm. this matter, parents as well. There are people logistically, when you look at what is happening, changing of children, I'm saying, if that is the yardstick we are using for mm. now, mm. Uh, changing a child from one school to, to another, another. Mm. Yeah, it has got its own levels, but also it has got its own levels. Mm. What I want to think is that if it was just based on logistical issues mm. as to where have you paid first, where has the child been training or learning from, from a school, for yeah. a given, there is a culture for every school. Yes. And shifting children, you see, I, I am a pastor. I have talked to some of my colleagues in the kingdom ministry called reverends in the Anglican Church mm -hmm. who have been uh, transferred time and again. And I have others from the uh, SDA who are my friends. They know how their transfers from one parish to another affect their children's education. It's an, not an easy one. But I know it's not the only thing you want to talk about today. What I'm thinking about is that we're talking about the general issues of parenting. Yes. The last bit of it you said, uh, some people are trying to run away from that fact because children are going to be around them all the time. It's unimportant for those. If yeah. that is the reason they're fronting, that children are going to be close to us all the time. We have other important issues yeah. we need to be doing other than looking after the children. Mm. That is a misnomer. That's a wrong direction. This is a wrong step in the wrong direction. So I think it's important to think our children are our priorities. Okay. Of every other thing that we can talk about, if the Lord has blessed a family or a couple with children, that is priority number one okay therefore whatever will bring them close to you or to me would welcome it with both hands if all the other factors remain constant yeah so it shouldn't be the reason you run putting them away so that kind of thinking 
is terribly wrong in the parenting systems and the styles. Mm. Okay, well, uh, Ben Levy is here to teach you all those parenting tricks. Uh, yeah, how best can you be a good parent? But now we want to mm, directly go answer the fathers. Why are they, why should they be involved in the lives of their children, especially the girl child? And we're asking at what age exactly is a father supposed to be part and partial of their girl's child's life? Wow. I want to appreciate that gift. And now, dear listeners, this is my position. And uh, if it's not universal, don't you worry. <laughs> but this is what I believe and I have practiced and have enjoyed. What makes me a proud father? The moment my wife gets, gets pregnant, I do not want to wait until the child is born. I am so a happy man. I feel so proud that my wife is expecting, is carrying a child, whether boy or girl. So at the time of involvement, it should be as you get involved with the mother, get involved with the results. If I'm a father, for example, gift, mm. and yes, I am, mm. and I have a wife and expect a child, before I can even say, as long as the conception has taken place, yeah. will never happy to be part of the conception, the conception process. conception, yeah. I want to be involved in the development of the child, Okuchara, Okugenda, Mudwariro, to go for the antenatal care. A man who is a father needs to get involved. Okay. I have seen men who are so good that they even escort their wives to go for those visits, oh. whether they are six or seven. Credit for men that. are there. I have one of them who is even my son of recent said, my son-in-law, but mm. I don't want to say in law, he's my real son. I was a Mwarawangi. Mm. He was given an opportunity to go and work in Imbarara when my daughter is expecting his wife. Mm. He said, I am going to make sure I don't go. I must receive my baby. So he chose to actually do all that he could. So Michael, njagara kukweva za mwana wangi, weva li wanda ganti ufayo, atila ni mchara u, achimanyi. So Michael chose to say, I will do that work later. Let me first of all be there. My wife should go in the theater or buy in the labor ward, nganange wendi. I must be the first person to receive my child. And it so happened. Mm. So we only knew, era ya seo kukunku vile simu, early in the morning, before six, he said, Daddy, to funyeyo muno. So I am a happy man. So the question was, when should a, pers yes. a, a person of a, a man as a father get involved in the life of their children, mm. boys or girls? Mm. It should be still from the moment you get involved with the mother and you expect to have a, ch a child mm. or children, then get involved from that time on. So you go through pregnancy, go through infancy, go through childhood development, up through adolescence, until when the younger adults, when you can say, oh, umana wakakata funya independence. They cannot mm. be independent of you if you want to raise a well-balanced child, yes. especially a girl child for this matter. Thank you so much, yeah, Pastor. Wow, hope mm. you guys have taken notes, yeah? Pastor, I get the point. It's very, very critical. And then he mentioned something that if it means you attending all the antenatals, it doesn't matter whether they are five, six, yeah, whichever number, how many visits they give you, be there. And I want to ask him, yeah, uh, talking about antenatals, we can combine it with family planning, yeah. Mm -hmm. We've already seen men turning a deaf ear. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Family planning, we have a cousin. Mm. you go to the hospital you will tell me and most of them don't even bother yeah? yeah they do not bother but pastor what do you think would be the ideal especially talk of the antenatal immediately after the woman gets to know that they're pregnant between that period to the time of their last weeks of gestation, delivery. Yes. yes. Mm. What is up? Why? Why do you think it's really important for a father to be part of that process? Wow. First of all, <clears throat> the state of mind 
and the body state, the emotional state of a mother, means a lot to the one she's carrying. When she's going with confidence, when she's going with a knowledge that my husband is with me, her body state, her mental state, her physical emotional state are so critical to the development of the child in the body. Therefore, I would advise strongly so that if you are still Muruganda baga mbobango uchari inkoto, nga gonja goyo chata najja. Eh? That is to say, ucha suvida abana. I would advise omchara wo mubere wo, aja kubere da wono umana wa mwe. When the mother is neglected, believe me, the repercussions will actually roll and flow over to the baby you're carrying. She's going to actually go dragging her feet because she knows there's nobody. I'm, I'm talking about hunting dogs. They will not simply tell them, go alone. There is always someone behind them, someone who encourages them and say, go ahead, you'll go, make you'll it. make it, you'll make it. And even mothers with our children need to hear someone who is responsible as a responsible husband, a responsible father to be near them. Oba mutambulira ku boda boda ujituleko. Oba mutambuza bigere mugende mwenna. Whether it's raining, go together. Go and sit in the queue. Recently, but because uh, uh, you know when when our daughter gave birth, let me give a live example. My son waited until the baby is born and delivered and he waited until she was dismissed from or discharged from the hospital. So we came home here, and Michael had therefore to go to the assignment. He works; mm. he's an engineer with UBC. Mm. So he works, and he was going to set up a, a studio in Imbarara. Mm. So he works, and he went. You know, I had to come with the daughter home here, mm. and she had to go for a review. Huh? I had to carry Victoria to the hospital for a review, and we stayed there almost the whole day. The line was long. Abasajja I realized this when Victoria is carrying the baby, so I will be happy to carry the baby. If I, the grandson, gets the pride, how would it feel for the father who is concerned? Because but can we learn them? You can learn. We can. We can. I don't, I don't hold those ones. I can't. They, they, are, they are so fragile. I cannot. I have seen even lions which take care of their own babies. I think we can do better. So the point is, from those antenatal days, let the father also make it a point. We need a life in the world, by the way. You must be proud because there are people who needed a child and they have not gotten one. You are a privileged father to be. Go ahead. Go with that woman. Encourage her and stand with her. Carry her. Hold her by the hand. Let her know. Sabwa mucho okero. I feel like I want to ask. Please. Mm. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. So, um, but anyway, does it even have any impact on the lives of the child? As I said, you know, there are senses that children are born with and they are active. I mean, I can say all of the senses are there, but talking about the stage of active senses. Mm. You know, a, a child is born with sight. But they lack focus until a certain stage. They, they, you can never pass your palm before their eyes and you see them following you with their eyes. But the sight is there. What is lacking is focus. 
So, but they are able to grow and know this is. That's the reason you see children refuse to be called by other people. They say, oh, you money. They have now gained the focus. So, it matters a lot who the child sees, who the child hears. As we are talking to our children, you may think they don't hear. They will hear the voice. And indeed, you can not, not have to be even amazed when a child of three months or even two months begins to refuse and selectively say, Oh, you see, Mumani, you carry them, they cry. Say, Bawaza, Amani, Engaroza, Mama, we hear that one. Engaroza, Mama, was money. It's just because the mother has been there. Yeah. Yeah. So it matters a lot to this child mm. if the child feels the hands of the father. He has the voice of the father, sees the face of the father. It matters a lot in his natural development. Well, if you're new here, this is about to become your home. Well, today we're focusing on parenting, but then uh, telling ourselves that men should also be part of the process of raising their children. Sure. Um, uh, earlier Run, I had over a speaker saying that, but what, what happened to parents of nowadays? After a child grows up, they uh, even even before they grow up, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, at your maid, your driver, you'll never get time as parents to take your parent, your children to school. Or good day, you cannot even sacrifice that time. And someone is like, I tell about the mule kela bana bamu. Temu ba te kamu values. Temu funa good day, mubai dirizam pisa. The values you have per standard level are not the values that your maid. Or may have, have may have, yeah. yeah. But you is the same person that is spending a lot of time with and the you most. Two critical time Most when the child is awake and able to play <laughs> to even cry <laughs> yes mm. so what do you think about that yeah i know the dynamics of society are changing and dear viewers things are changing because the mother is an employed person somewhere so is the father and that therefore dictates how to raise our children that's where the work and the dawn of maids and house helps mm. has come up to the peak. Whatever is being said is not a fairy tale. This is what happens around. And even under those circumstances, I have told myself, as I've also read, that should someone tell you, simply no, they had no you on the list of their priority. <laughs> It's a simple way of embellishing the truth that they did not see you as a priority. When someone sees you as a priority, Now, if our children are important, and that important to us, we're talking about parenting, we must design. If the default fails, let us do a design and make sure we find time for them. Okay. But mama, never tata, we are equally culpable. If we are saying we are leaving our children to the house helps, the maids, to take care of them, some are good, not all of them are bad. Indeed, yeah. they have done a good job. Yes. I happen to have been a pastor, but also a leader of a big uh, section of churches when my children were growing. I had a lot of assignments, different places, uh, conferences, women's conferences, but I realized one thing that came to me a lot was these words, were these words that uh, Brother Joshua talked about. After he had done all that he could do, all the battles he fought, everything that he stood for, he finally said, <laughs> chanku, nganti, mm, I can run around, I can be a blessing to many. I am even the youth conferences, I'm even the married people's conferences, I'm having these other leadership conferences. I'm running. But I would make sure, deliberately, by design, 
Nabanabangi. So that we can play with them. And sometimes people look at my children. Do they respect you? They respect me just because no kuzanyanza nyanabu, to zanyabichi, mfuno de to zany mata to mfuno de to zany rudon. So no de to zany drafty. Do no de to zany Ochinabi Nakakati. Others have grown up by university, right? Ochinabi Manang. So that is the truth. So I'm not talking about fairy tales. In Tiwakaima, Nasre, in Tamwe, Yocha, ah, ah, these things happen. I would advise the parents, wherever they are, even the fathers who are very busy, you have busy schedules, politicians, pastors, teachers, mm. businessmen, drivers, vlongo safaris. By the way, can't take him never pay roads. You need time with which it matters. Play with them, let them cry for you. Babere de Kumu Ramuzi, or Salem Sanguja, which you never can get Jesu, to Jerekir a mama. That's Mama Yajok Salem Sanguja, you mean to add a mamma, maybe. Does it work? Well said, yeah. Our third day, it's a wake up call. It's really a wake up call. Zoko catch over the talk on a Bolondi. Uh, now is the time for you to obtain exams so that we can raise up responsible citizens of this country, Uganda. If we neglect uh, taking care of our children, we will be to put the blame to the president, to the leaders, mm. because you were not properly brought up as responsible citizens. Our time is running so fast, but I'll remind you subscribing is key. Please make it a point to subscribe onto the channel and be able yeah to share it copy the link put it on your whatsapp go to your facebook everywhere yeah then live i'm asking this one question as we really time is running so fast and just getting interesting that how can how can a girl who grows up without a father figure in their lives be able to see the best in a man wow I, I really want to appreciate. Can I also, building on that very question, mm. remind our viewers that you see, it's not just a matter of being present, mm. but the type of relationship we have with the children. Yeah, okay. There are people who will say, we have understood it to Jakubeirao. <laughs> but the type of relationship you have with the child, the girl child, yeah. is so important that tobe la obu bezi mm. ngo soma maulile e simu zaidia tobe la obu bezi nga uliku whatsapp mm. no kati haa ataandaba wendi it's not about being present yeah. but cultivate a healthy relationship with that your daughter. daughter and so in this case as uh, gift uh, gift is asking and said so really our sajia fake dara dara it impacts our children especially the girl child when we are present and have a good relationship with them. You know how? It helps them to understand what a man, the figure of a man looks like. They learn from us. So, your relationship with their mother is key. Your relationship with them carries over to what they shall make a choice about. Why do have a who would like to say, not in age, yeah, uh -uh, but in character. So mm -hmm. it gives them the confidence. It gives the children, the girl child, the confidence, even when they are facing men outside there. You know, our children grow into kids and bakuzi. What we have sown in them is what will give them the platform to be confidently looking into the eyes of a man. Yes. They will value themselves. You add value to them and you create an atmosphere of self-confidence. So it's very, very important for the men to know that if they want to pave the way of their daughters in the world where they will not accompany them. Can I also speak quickly to those ones who may not have both father and mother? Because it is true that how I wish the morning would be tata wali ne mama wali. Na ye wali wabamu, ngaba wala wali yeyo, ngaboba tata tebako lachi, tebali yuo. That is where I'm saying it's very, very important to find an, a father figure, a, 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 a godly, a father figure, a godly, who can instill the values and the virtues of Christianity and social life. 
So I think we need that. Those ones who are present and you are there, cultivate a healthy relationship. Educationally, socially, psychologically, even physically. No muwaro kula biko burunji mumubiri. Wali wotata abadde wo. Let the woman in that girl be seen and prepared by the father. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Kudos to the fathers that have done a great, great job and to also the mothers that have done a great job. But to the fathers, you're very, very amazing. Our time is running so fast and at this very point of time, I want to request first uh, Ndianabo K. Patrick to just do a wrap up for us his thoughts. Mm. Uh, Gambi what exactly is expected of you? Sure. Kati banange, batata banange. Nenga, you still can redeem the situation. The example of God sending his son, he could have let Mary alone have the pregnancy without a father and raise Jesus. <laughs> but God knew that the right way of bringing up Jesus is to have a father figure. So Joseph, as a foster father, played a very big role. He's an unsung hero in the life of Jesus Christ. Many people, I know they love to talk about Mary. The mama wa katonda. I appreciate that. But the truth is that that is the way to go. Please, fathers, wherever you are, be available. Cultivate a healthy relationship with that daughter, the girl child. Cause them to feel your present. Yeah. Help them to give a reason why they should say no when they need to say no. They can say yes when they need to say yes. yes. Help them to learn how to follow leadership. You are the head of that wife and the family. Let them know how to follow authority. Don't neglect the child because all the styles of authoritarianism, authoritative and permissive and all the others, forget involved, let them ask you questions and answer them. If you cannot answer them, pray for them. Let those children, especially the girl child, grow up with the knowledge. Tata to take out Matida. No Matida Abanabu, Abawara. Tebaja Kugenda easily. They will have added value because of the way Father treats them. I love you so much. And I pray that those that have got fathers that are present are doing well. Kudos to all of you. Mm. And those ones who have got fathers who have not been doing well and they're needing, they're leaving all the work. To the mothers, we can still have the time to improve. It's still okay for you and for me to do what is best. Chicha Soboka, you have not lost it. Thank you. Okay, first things first. The soul of Chani Kila Omana Kaze Kuku. No Chani Kila Omana Taita Mama. No Moloko Saya. Let us start from there. Sure. But thank you so much, Pastor. You've done as well. You've reminded us of our positions. I have never gone before. We have been. Nadala Bata Tanga Wase Se Tukato Mani Shidako. Mosu Lai Gwana Gamba. Sure. Oli Mubi Nyon of Singa Bate Mwabari. Yeah, but let us do what we're supposed to do and be able to give a proper accountability before God. We just come and go and come and observe and bury it. I tell you, what is it? So if we go to the let us be good citizens and also be able to raise proper and good citizens. Well, you've been watching the health show, and uh, still I remind you kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell to make it a point that every time something happens here you're able to be the very first person to enjoy it and also share with all the people that are in your circles well i remain yusina kaim until any other next time wish you well